I'm Nick, this is Budget Build Garage, and today I'm gonna show you how to measure for your new back half setup. Um, whether you're doing a ladder bar, a four link like I'm doing, if you're custom making this thing, if you're buying a kit, whatever you plan on doing, you need to know how wide or how narrow you want those frame rails. Um, it's actually fairly easy to figure that out. You don't wanna just go on and buy the most narrow kit you can find. You want a lot of frame rail if you can fit it. Um, it helps to have like your shocks, your coilovers, whatever, more outboard. The, the closer in they get, the less, the, the thing starts to kind of wallow, turtle over. It's a little weird. Um, there are ways around it, of course. I mean, no matter what, you're gonna put like an anti-sway bar or anti-roll bar on it. But still, if you can keep more of the frame rail, you should, or if you make the mistake of buy something too wide and end up with a huge tire that you can't fit, you know, you're doing it twice. So to measure this thing, you only need a couple things. I like to use a bunch of tape. I put tape all over the place for this thing. You can ignore what I have down already. Um, you're gonna need a tape measure, a marker, and a plumb bob. If you don't have a plumb bob, you should just get some. They're like two bucks. Um, in a pinch, I've, I've hung a bolt, I've hung a nut. I've done a few different things to do this, but you know, whatever, get a plumb bob, you should have one. All you really need to do on the car is lift the rear end up. You can just slide a jack on the rear end up, put it on jack stands. You don't even actually have to pull off the tires. It doesn't matter. I've obviously cut everything out so I can just measure across, but you don't really want to, you don't want to start cutting before you actually plan your project. So I did this a while back, obviously. What you're looking for is the actual widest point in your lip on the inside. So that's where you need to go. You don't have to worry about the inner fender well. Don't worry about like how it bulges because honestly that's getting cut out. All you need to do is hang the plumb bob, let it hit the ground, and then tug up a little bit slowly and let it settle. Once you've done that, you can just make a mark. All you need is a dot. I've already done the same on the other side. And then slide your tape measure under and now I am 73 and three quarters obviously I already knew that I've already done this part but 73 and three quarters that's the number you need you only need two things to really figure this out you need that number and then you need to figure out what tire you want to run so now that I know that obviously I already know what tire I run um, you can go to the whiteboard I can show you how to do this okay here I am at the whiteboard. We have our number, it's 73 and three quarters. Right away, I'm gonna take off that three quarter. Pretend it's not there. We're just gonna round it down to 73, so no matter what, we have some cushion. We could be wrong a little bit, or if we're really close, we know we have more. Um, the next thing you need to do is pick yourself a set of tires. The tire I went with is 32 inches tall, 14 inches wide. But the 14 inch wide is the contact patch, and that's the important thing you need to know. That contact patch is not going to help you. You need to know what this actual slick is and its full width. Um, most of these places will have it on their website. It's super important. Everyone needs it, so it's there. The, it ends up being like 17 inches total. So we know it's 17 inches. That's the tire I chose. What we do here is we'll write 73. We'll make a line. So 73 is here. This is your fender outlines. First thing I want to do is I want a gap. I want a gap of at least one and a half inches. Then my tires. These 17 inches. Then I want a gap again between the frame rail one and a half inches. This is going to let the rear end move a bit. It's going to let the tire expand and contract. It's going to help. You're going to need it there. Now we'll skip the center. We'll do the same on this side. So. 1.5, I'm terrible at drawing, sorry. 17 and 1.5. So, we got 1.5 and then we got three, then six. So basically, you have 73 minus six inches of gap. Six inches of gap, 17 on each thing, so that's 34. You're gonna subtract another 34. And then that is, so what's that? I don't know, man, I am terrible at math. That ends up being like 33. Yeah, so 34, that's 40, minus that, that's 33. So I have 33 inches. My frame rail can be 
33 inches, somewhere around there. That's cool to know, but I've already looked at these. I already know what these are. You should do this too. There's gonna be ranges. Basically, you're gonna have probably something around like 32, 30, 28, 26, and 24 inch wide frame rails. They're gonna sell a whole bunch of those. So, I know I can be that wide, but I also know that there's bigger tires than mine. I know for sure the next size up ends up being 18 and a half wide. So if we get rid of this, turn that into an eight and put five, turn that into an eight and put five, and ignore that, and that, and that. So 18 and a half and 18 and a half, that's 37. Dude, I should really learn math. That's 37, and then that would leave me with 30. So then my frame rails can be 30 inches. Like I said, I've already looked these up. I know they make a 28 inch wide setup. I'm gonna choose a 28. I'm gonna have tons of room for error. And honestly, I also know I can fit the next size up. I wanna future proof this. I don't think I need more than 17 inches wide. That's a pretty big tire, but I like the options. And 28 inch wide frame rails are still fairly wide. If you have like a small pickup truck like everyone seems to be using lately, I mean, you see a lot of like, you see a lot of Chevy Loves out there. You see a lot of really cool stuff and they have really, really narrow stuff. This allows me to be pretty wide. I'm gonna be honest, 28 is still perfectly wide. Um, so whether you're building this thing yourself or whether you're buying a kit like I'm gonna do, this is the way to figure everything out. It's the easiest way to do it. You put it all out there, there's all your numbers. You're not gonna screw it up that way. And especially if your math is right, I'm pretty sure mine is, it's, you know, whatever, I'll figure it out. <laughs> no, it's good. But um, that's how you figure out how wide you need to go. Your next step really is to pick a kit. So you know your width, you know you have a range, you've built that off of what size tires you plan to run, and you can start ordering stuff. You're gonna see a ton of kits. There's gonna be like two by three square tubing, there'll be round tubing. They all got their pros and cons as far as four link versus ladder bar. I mean, that's really up to you. Ladder bar, ladder bars are pretty awesome. A lot of people are running crazy times on ladder bars. There's a ton of gassers out there that run like amazingly fast times on ladder bars. The four link, it's got a whole lot more um, adjustment, like infinitely more adjustability to be honest. But dude, that is also really difficult. There's a, there's a big learning curve trying to set a four link up perfectly and something I've always wanted to learn how to do, so that's what we're doing. Um, hopefully this is helpful. It's really good to know this stuff before you start ordering parts, because you know what, parts are expensive and nobody takes them back when you start ordering stuff like this. Or if they do, there's like a 15 or 25% restock fee. You don't wanna pay that. So get under there, take a few measurements. It shouldn't take you long and um, yeah, if you'll figure it out. Then you can start ordering stuff. Uh, I've had a bunch of stuff on order for months, to be honest, because of the COVID thing. Nobody's really shipping. Everyone's using like a, a lighter crew. So I've been waiting on my stuff for months, to be honest, but um, it's coming. According to the tracking slips, it should be here in a couple of days. And I will show you that. I've got wheels, I've got tires, and you know what, man? This thing's gonna start moving very fast, and very quickly. So keep an eye out. I'll do some more videos on it. I'm happy to be doing some of this stuff. This stuff is super interesting to me. I like it a lot and uh, yeah, hopefully it was helpful. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks.